I am Manju Singh. I am working as an assistant professor at HR group of institutions Ghaziabad in pharmacy department. Today I am going to teach biostatics and research methodology 8th SAM. Today's topic is statistical analysis using SPSS. So let's start. So, first of all, we all should know what is SPSS. So, here it is. First of all, we must know what is the full form of SPSS. So, its full form is earlier, earlier, it was known as statistical package for the social science. Science. Earlier the full form was known as SPSS statistical package for the social science, but now it is known as now statistical product and service solution So, the full form of SPSS, earlier it was known as statistical package for the social science and now it is known as statistical product and service solution SPSS. It has one other new name uh, known as PASW which means predictive analytical software. So, it has three names, uh, a statistical package for the social science, statistical product and service solution also known as PASW predictive analytical software. This is used for data analysis, mainly used in businesses. Here it is a comprehensive and flexible statistical analysis and data management solution. It is a comprehensive and also a flexible statistical analysis tool. SPSS statistical product and service solution now is a program used for survey, authoring and deployment, data mining, text analytics, statistical analysis and collaboration and deployment. We all know that it is used for statistical analysis, but where mainly it is used in survey. When we do any survey uh, like uh, the survey organized by government authorities or, or by private authorities, in survey we have to uh, we have to do some calculations, uh, some statics, then we use this software SPSS and deployment data mining etc. It can take data from almost any type of file. It means any type of file and use them to generate tabulated reports, charts and plots of distributions and trends, descriptive statics and conduct complex statistical analysis. From any type of file, it means it can take file from MS Excel, Word or from any other software, it can take file from any software and use them and generate tabulated reports. It means tabulated reports, 
if there is some uh, descriptive descriptive information from uh, we have to take some descriptive information from other software then it convert that information into tabulated reports and make charts whatever charts and plots of distributions and trades. So, uh, it is the advantage of this software, it can take data from any file. And also conduct complex statistical analysis. It means earlier we have read, uh, we study biostatics by using MS Excel, but MS Excel we can use only some basics of statics in MS Excel, but here we can do any complex statistical analysis. It means here you can see survey it itself is a very big process. We when we do any survey in any country or in a group, so we need to calculate a large data. So, that is very uh, complex uh, calculations, then we use SPSS for this complex statistical analysis. Next, SPSS is among the most widely used programs for statistical analysis in social science. I have told you earlier, uh, earlier it was known as statistical package for social science. This SS means social science. So, it is the among the most widely used programs for statistical analysis in social science. Social science here means that to, uh, when we do any survey that relates to social science. We do survey on uh, health issues and many more issues like uh, uh, recently we are surveying for how many people are affected by Corona, Omicron or how many young students who uh, willing who are willing to go school or colleges in this pandemic situation though we can conclude results from this software it was uh, SPSS statistical package for social science or statistical product and service solution this software it was developed by mr norman h nee and C. Hadley Hull of IBM Corporation in the year 1968. Uh, we have already known that IBM is a very popular company, I, uh, my, it is a software company and the company developed this software and the developer name is Norman H. Nee and C. Hadley Hull. It is compatible with Windows, Linux, Unix and Mac operating systems. That why uh, in earlier slide you have seen it can take data from any file. It means it is compatible with all these softwares or other softwares. That is why it is easy for it to take data from other files like Windows. I have told you it can take data from MS Excel also and generate tabulated reports, charts, Linux, Unix and Mac operating systems. Then user of SPSS. So, SPSS is used in, it is used in the various uh, sectors first of all telecommunications. In telecommunications we have seen uh, there is a huge, huge data to calculate, huge, is a huge uh, uh, data for statics to calculate. So, uh, we cannot uh, do normal calculations or normal statics by using Excel. So, we need uh, some highly advanced software for these calculations. So, we use SPSS in. So, SPSS is used in telecommunications, banking, also banking is a uh, huge area, is a huge industry. We have so many statics in banking sector. Then finance also related to banking, also a part of banking. Insurance, same. 
and health care we in uh, health care manufacturing and retail retail means any type of retail rela retail related to medicines and any type of manufacturing consumer packaged goods so as we have seen all these mainly these sectors mostly conduct surveys nowadays healthcare conduct so many surveys so for uh, for these surveys we need to uh, calculate some data by using spss then in a uh, we in we need spss in higher education in higher education like in pg ug uh, we uh, when we conduct some experiment on research on college level then we also need some software so generally we do calculations or we make charts to uh, make reports by using excel but when we do some highly advanced research or some various projects funded by government organizations or private organizations for clinical trials they have many uh, they use softwares or highly advanced technology so in higher education we use spss in government there is a survey is conducted by government in where we use spss and of course market research market research is a very important thing we do market research in everything like in manufacturing in uh, in healthcare sector banking finance market research is very very important so we need we, we need a very highly advanced technology now features of spss features means uh, characteristics of spss so what is the use it is easy to learn and use of spss all the spss is a highly advanced technology software uh, but in comparison to other software spss is easy to learn of course ms excel is pretty much easy than it but it is also easy it includes a full range of data management system and editing tools it means it has much more advanced tools than ms excel in managing data and editing tools it has also so many uh, editing tools where we can edit our data it like uh, we are just simply writing some description and we want to generate a report in uh, a, a chart paper or like a pie it it has so many editing tools so we use less our brain and just randomly put the data and it convert the data into our desired forms like tabulated form or chart forms or whatever it provides in depth statistical capabilities it means it has many more uh, formulas of statics it offers complete plotting reporting and presentation features it has also many presentation features like after uh, making reports or tabulated forms it also present the data in a, a presentable form getting data into spss so how will you get data into the spss software this is uh, for example this is software of spss this is toolbar the how will you get data into sps you know that the sps can take data from any type of file but how will you get data here so 
creating new SPSS data files is the first option. You have to create a new data, uh, sorry, a new SPSS data files. Next, opening existing SPSS system files, importing data from an ASCII file, importing data from other file formats here. The other file, uh, you can also import data from the various other file formats. Now, entering data, how will you enter data into a SPSS? So, here is the data editor. The data editor offers a simple and efficient spreadsheet like facility for entering data and browsing the working data file. Like MS Excel, it has also worksheets known as uh, spreadsheets. These are rows. So, the data editor offers a simple and efficient spreadsheet like facility for entering any data whatever and browsing the working data file. This window displays the content of the data file. One can create new data files or modify existing ones. One can have only one data file open at a time. It means you can open a worksheet only one time. In MS Excel you have seen that there are many uh, sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. You can randomly open any sheet at one time, but here uh, it means it, uh, this is the disadvantage. You can open only one data file at one time. This editor provides two views of the data. It means the data editor have two views. First is data view and second is variable view. So, data view is data view displays the actual data values or defined value labels, where variable view displays variables definition information including defined variable and value labels data type etcetera. It means uh, the data editor has two view, data view which have the actual values. We, it means it has the actual values or the given values of a, or a defined value where variable is not defined or it, uh, it constantly changing. It, here is the variables. It means two rows, sorry, two columns. One is actual view and one is variable. Next is editing data. So, in uh, uh, it has so many editing tools. So, uh, one is pivot table editor. This is also in MS Excel. So, what does pivot table editor do? So, the output can be modified in many ways with editor and can create multidimensional tables. So, pivot table, what do pivot table do? Uh, the output, it means the result, the output, it can edit the output in many ways like it can change it and create multidimensional tables multidimensional means it can also make th uh, three dimension tables. 
example we can add it text swap text in rows and columns it means if there is a data in rows and columns it can add it that tags and make multi dimensional tables of that data next editing tool is text output editor what does text output editor do text output not displayed in pivot tables can be modified with the text output editor it means the data which is not edited by pivot table is edited by text output editor next is chart editor chart editor is high resolution charts and floats can be modified in chart window next is saving data how will you save data we need to save it and give it a name the default extension name for saving files is save here it means the sps uh, sorry spss files extension is save if you save any spss files the extension will be save also we can able to retrieving already saved file next is variables variable is a user defined name of particular type of data to hold information such as income or gender or temperature or doses array of variable is a collection of values of similar type of datas next is variable types so the variable types are numeric comma dot scientific notation date custom currency and string now what are the rules for variable names so the names must begin with a letter names must not end with a period names must be no longer than 8 characters names cannot contain blanks or special characters names must be unique names are not case sensitive now what are the advantages of spss spss offers a user friendliness that most packages are only now catching up to it's a popular and thought that it is certainly not a reason for choosing a statistical package many data sets are easily loaded into it and other programs can easily import spss files now what is the disadvantage of spss every software has some cons and pros so let's see what are the cons of this as software for academic use spss lags notably behind sas there are so many software for statistical uses so uh, it is also highly advanced technology software but it is also uh, somewhere it is lagging behind sas and r software and so many others and even perhaps others that are not the more mathematical rather than the statistical side for modern data analysis it what does it means it means that 
it lags behind SAS and here this is our software and even perhaps offers that are on the more mathematical rather than the what is the disadvantage of SAS? The disadvantage of SAS is it is more mathematical rather than the staticals, but we are using SAS SPSS for statics. This chapter belongs to biostatics, but it uh, involves more mathematical uh, calculation rather than a statistical. So, uh, rather than the statistical side for modern data analysis, its menu offerings are typically the most basic of an analysis and sometimes lacking even then and it makes doing an inappropriate analysis very easy. It is expensive sometimes ridiculously and even when you do buy you are really only leasing and its license is definitely not user friendly. Here this lines what it shows it is expensive also it is good and but it is lagging behind SAS and although it is very expensive sometimes ridiculously so and even when you do buy when you buy this software you are really only leasing and its license is definitely not user friendly it means the uh, the popular disadvantage of this software it is very expensive costly it is costly I, I think it is costly than other software but is the disadvantage it should it can be costly but it should not lag behind other softwares if it is lagging behind other softwares then what is the benefit of it it is also costly and its license is not user friendly so this is sp as is now thank you so much